All right there, folks, welcome back to Chelsea. You can see we're top of the league still. 10 games in, 26 points from our 10. Six-point lead over Tottenham. Today is a big test, though. Manchester United at the bridge, at least, so we do have that home advantage. Let's catch up, though, on recent games since you were last with us for that 5-3-0 victory at the Emirates. A 2-0 win over Sheffield United. Basically, two goals in two minutes, as you see there. Willian and Rogani with the goals. And then a 3-2 defeat to Dortmund we rallied from one uh, well one and two nil down to draw it back to 2-2 but a Marco Royce penalty in the last minute a dubious penalty for me but there you go you can see the number of cards the uh, standard of refereeing was not the best so we have a bit of work to do in the Champions League we should be able to beat Dortmund at home uh, they did score a couple from corners you know they're a good team that's you know but we're going to go through second anyway so that's the important thing. And then a 2-0 victory at the Bet365 Stadium. Uh, two red cards in the game. And Dai shouldn't be playing for Stoke anyway. And Eden Hazard sent off. Uh, Hazard was a straight red card. He seemed to be fouled and then fell over and then got sent off. So we did appeal it because Gianfranco, the old mate, said it was worth doing because it was a harsh card. It's not been overturned. So... As you can see there, Eden Hazard, not available today. And Belotti, doubtful with a groin strain. And that's that's where we are, really. So, as I say, top of the league, second in the Champions League group. We should go through as group, uh, well, runners-up or winners. Shouldn't really be seeing PSV catching us up. PSV, we should be able to beat PSV in Holland, and they'll probably lose to Dortmund as well. Locker in the whipping boys of the group. So, it's all about Manchester United today. Of course, we know all about them. They've not had a great start, but what a team. What a team they've assembled with the extra players. They spent just £145 million in Aramendi, Raya, Nacho, Leon Bailey and Stefan Savic. That's on top, of course, of the £122 million that they spent last summer on Silva, Camacho, Suso and Tierney. Yeah, so they spend more money than we do. Uh... But that's no real surprise, is it, to Manchester United? So, teams are in the tunnel. Uh, I'll give you the team news in just a second. So there are the teams then. William takes has a spot on the left-hand side with Pedro coming in on the right-hand side. Uh, it's pretty much full strength otherwise, except for obviously up front where Belotti misses out. Giroud starts ahead of Michi. For Manchester United, it's pretty much... Well, yeah, it's quite ridiculous. Interesting, they've gone for fullbacks. That's probably the areas that Manchester United will address in real life, you'd assume. And they've got a winger more than capable of dovetailing with Sanchez in Leon Bailey. Of course, a player that I was very interested in, except... Uh, Leverkusen seemed to offer me a far more inflated price than they offered Manchester United. So I'm not saying that's harsh. You know, just the extra 80 million or whatever it was on top of what they wanted. But there you go. And yeah, just you know, big game, big game. First of the uh, the month could have been could have been an easier game for us to to live con. But no, we'll do this one as Morata goes steaming through. And yeah, I thought Morata was suspended actually. No, I'm thinking of Hazard. Ignore me as that's that's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, we saw it against Arsenal, didn't we, where we had a few breaks of the ball perhaps, but then this is this is next level as uh, Aspilicueta sort of takes the sting out of this, puts it on a plate for Lukaku. Uh, Alexi Sanchez couldn't have done it better himself. We'll ask the boys to get creative. We just don't start well against big sides. Manchester City scoring two in the first ten minutes. Leon Bailey, a static... Uh, defence there and hopefully William will get there and tries to go long but it's a, a ball to nothing really as it comes straight back with Matic through to Lukaku and it needs Kepa to keep it out so Manchester United had well they scored one and they've had another good opportunity inside the first three minutes of the game Leon Bailey's corner and it's gone in anyway Kepa can't keep it out Sanchez so we find ourselves 2-0 down at home inside three minutes of the game it's an absolute disgrace and we now basically have zero chance of winning this fixture. It's, uh, you know, I don't know why we're not getting in for the challenge on the ball there. That's appalling, to be quite honest. 
Right, so nothing's happened since those first two goals. Uh, we've not had a chance. And here come Man United again, Tierney to Sanchez. Dances his way through and launches over the crossbar. This is the worst we've played in a long time. Okay, so that's half time then. It looks as though we've rallied in the terms of the stats. You'd look at that and you'd say, how are we losing 2 0? But we haven't seen a single moment from us. No, no, nothing attacking wise. And it's, it makes it very easy to do the half time team talk when you have a performance like that. So we're going to make changes. William comes off, not being good. Uh, Giroud's going to come off as well. Been better than Maratta, but Michu's, uh, well, Giroud's better than. Or rather, not as good as Maratta. As hopefully we can turn, well, show a bit of fight and spirit in this second half. Pedro, back to Kante. You're not expecting anything straight from kickoff, but just a bit of hope would be nice as Sergei launches one over the crossbar. All right, so here we go then. Kerman winning that ball back from the Manchester United. I, keep, I don't know why I keep saying the whole name. United throwing. Kerman on this left side again. Cuts inside to Sergei. Pedro tries to place one, I think, but didn't come off. And Zuma will head that down, and Pedro collects. Sergei again. Pedro, Batshuayi. Right now to Aspilicueta. It's got to be now. As Kerman hits the post and then deflected wide. There's just nothing running for us at the moment at all in this game. We'll ask the boys to be creative. Unfortunate not to score there, but the first effort should really have been on target as Batshuayi just rolls the ball into De Gea's gloves. And Kerman picks up another knock. This injury proneness nonsense because like I say no if you, I said it in a recent episode doesn't hasn't picked up lots of injuries in recent years for uh for Bayern but suddenly he comes here and he constantly gets injured so I don't understand why you know are we playing a different type of football maybe maybe they just wrapped him up in cotton wool but we're not going to do that maybe that we just can't keep him at this to, at this club on such high wages, if he's not going to be available, I just expected a bit more robustness. Maybe it's just settling into the club, as we can't even win a tackle back every time we do. It breaks us. We bought Emerson on left back, and we've moved Marcus Alonso up um, as Batchway gets in and hits the post. I don't know what to say. There's only a ten mil so minutes to go. We'll try and work this down the left with Emerson crosses. Pedro gets up there, but doesn't win it. De Gea fists away, Pedro, can he cut the ball back across, doesn't even try, doesn't even try and get the ball across, tackled easily, and Lukaku finds Bailey on this right side, Leon Bailey, and saved over the crossbar by Kepa. We do actually deserve not to be losing, we actually do deserve to be winning, uh, two, you know, twice hit the wood with a better team in this game, it's just, again, two stupid early goals to concede, and the game is, is over without even getting started. Makes it so hard to get anything if you give your opponents a two-goal head start. Conte looks left now. Marcus Alonso moving forward to Edmerson. Crosses Batshuayi. No, it's away again. And Sergei heads in. We do have a lifeline. Sergei De Gea went wandering. Just nodded over him. And hopefully we can rally forward a little bit and get a second. Because we definitely deserve at least at least a point today. At least a point. We're going to ask the boys to demand... Well, we're going to demand more from the boys. We're going to ask the boys to demand more. We see we can't make any further changes. It, I don't think it's going to come. United are good, are very resolute. But we definitely don't deserve to be on the losing end of this game. But that's what it is. A 2-1 defeat at home to Manchester United. Two ridiculously poor goals for us to have conceded. Opportunist goals, you might say. But you've got to take your chances. And we certainly didn't today. And that's the that's the disappointing thing. It makes it again very easy to do this because no one can argue with it, and we just have to go again. You know, it, unlucky in defeat. You're not telling me. So Coman injured again, pulled knee ligaments. I mean, what is this guy? What is this guy? I mean, as I say, nothing nothing alarming in here. Warned on the pre the signing report. I will accept that. But looking at his injury history, where's the evidence? And it's not like he didn't play. Played 20, uh, well, 14 games. Uh, only four starts for Bayern, but not injured. That was through choice. So we're not going to be keeping this boy around if he just can't play games. So we'll see if he, you know, it needs to improve next for the second half of the season because otherwise he's out the door. Um, first defeat in 22 games. 
didn't deserve to lose, did we? But there you go. That's Man United for us. We don't seem to have the, the joy against them. Next game will be against Wolves in what is an absolutely bumper month. You can see that there. there's a lot of games. So hopefully by that point we'll have secured our Champions League progress and won a couple of games to take the bitter taste of that Man United defeat out of my mouth. Uh, do pop a like on there for me and any comments as well as what do you do when you go 2-0 down after four minutes? What do you do? Do you just, do you just go home? Because <laughs> it seemed like some of our boys did, which is sad. But anyway, as I say, pop a like on there for me and subscribe for far more Football Manager 2019 content coming very soon. I'll see you again on the next video. Take care and goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.